After two dozen horse deaths at Santa Anita Park in California, major tracks, including Keeneland and Churchill Downs, are in the process of banning the use of the pre-race drug Lasix. LAX 18's Claire Crouch spoke with Keeneland President Bill Thomason to get some insight about the decision. The start. They're off in the Kentucky Derby. In the weeks leading up to horse racing's biggest event, a bombshell announcement. Major tracks are moving toward the eventual ban of race day drug Lasix. Lasix has been a dividing issue for the industry for decades. Lasix is an anti-bleeding medication that helps treat exercise-induced pulmonary hemorrhage, but it's used much more prevalently to the point some argue it is a performance-enhancing drug. For example, Keeneland CEO Bill Thomason says last year every horse that ran the Kentucky Derby was on the medication. This is really one of the most significant events that's happened in our industry in, a, in decades. The plan to phase out the drug is as follows. Beginning January 1st, 2020, two-year-old horses will not be allowed to be treated with Lasix within 24 hours of a race. The following year, the same rule would apply to all horses participating in any stakes races included in this coalition. That includes tracks like Keeneland, Churchill Downs, and all Triple Crown races. The medication is already banned in most racing circles outside of the U.S. Thomason says this decision simply moves American racing in line with the rest of the world. Uh, this is just the first stage of many where we're going to show the true concern that we that we have and have always had for our athletes. Now we're just doing it in a coordinated approach. Covering the news in Lexington, Claire Crouch, LEX 18 News.